I flew into space uh, in 1981, already 40 years ago. I'm the only Romanian astronaut, and I was part of the Intercosmos program that took into space several nations. Romania at that time was the 11th nation flying to the outer space, and I was the 103rd person of the Earth flying into the outer space. My mission took eight days. I was trained for these eight days for three years, tough training, many learning, including Russian. And uh, at the end, I accomplished into the outer space several scientific experiments in the field of technology, astrophysics, medicine, biology, including some psychological tests. All these experiments were on behalf of my country, of Romania, and on behalf of some other nations taking part of the Intercosmos program. Actually, I was found on flying from the childhood. Always I want to be in the air, being on board of airplanes, and when uh, the hazards put me in the position to choose between aviation and space, I choose space because space offered me the possibility to fly, to fly much higher than with an airplane and to make discoveries. In the same time, I was very curious all the time to discover new things, to see everything from a different perspective, to think out of the box. And the space gave me this opportunity. When I was in the rocket, I stand to big pressure, not only psychological pressure, but physical pressure. Uh, for Gs, means flying with a speed of about 28,000 kilometers per hour to the outer space, then living in weightlessness. I worked in weightlessness for about uh, eight days, eight days in which I accomplished a lot of experiments on behalf of my country, scientific experiments. Living in the space is not so easy. It looks easy in the beginning, but uh, all the problems caused by the weightlessness to the body, you have to face them, especially in the first days, till you adapt to the harsh conditions of the outer space. Then you feel free, you float inside the uh, space station, you feel like a fish in the water. And it's uh, completely different when we come back to the earth and you feel much heavier than the field before the space flight. Um, Looking at the Earth from the outer space, it's an amazing thing. You are amazed by the thinness of the atmosphere of the Earth. And you think that all this atmosphere represents the oxygen you breathe on the ground. The plants live on this oxygen and also other beings. In the same time, you think that the people pollute the, the, the atmosphere. And it's very dangerous for the future of us, for the future of the next generation. At the same time, you see from the outer space the land, the deforestation, the wounds of the earth made by man. And you are aware that you have to protect the planet and to promote the protection of the planet and to be organized, like we are organized in the framework of the Association of Space Explorers, to be more efficient in all these promotions. Actually, I think a space flight changed people. You look at the Earth from the ground at a place surrounding you, a limited space. From the airplane, you have a wider vision. But from the outer space, you can see the entire planet. You see the planet, it's a globe. It's only one world without borders without interactions between people, but you know that there are a lot of problems to be solved on this beautiful planet. The planet is fragile. The planets uh, have to be protected and you understand it only you are up in the other space and you have a global vision of this planet. You realize this physically, not only theoretically. After you came back from the outer space, you have a better understanding of the global problems of the humanity you think through a different filter on all the problems you face on the ground. You face the problems professionally by your 
you do with a lot of things, dealing with asteroids by instance, dealing with the protection of the planet, dealing with international institutions like the UN, and you always bring with you the global vision you gained during the spaceflight. 